we have an equally honorable speaker ahead with us now, uh, Sri KTR. So, Sri KTR, sir, would you like to come to stage? Would you like to say any final words to Devjani Gunjan and Manu Saleh and start your session too? I was just uh, telling KSV that I don't have a few words, I have a lot of words. So, I think I have a fully uh, loaded speech that I wanted to deliver. Thank you, KSV Garu. Thank you, Devjani. Thank you to the entire team of uh, NASCOM. Thank you, Gunjan, for those kind words. Thank you, Manu. Thanks also to my Principal Secretary, Jayesh Ranjan Garu, and to our Honorable MP from Chevela, Sri Ranjit Reddy Garu. To all the delegates who are participating in this event of uh, NASCOM's GCC conclave, I welcome you all to Hyderabad. Um, I hope you have uh, a great you know, day of deliberations and a great day of discussions. In the Indian landscape, I think um, there's more than 1,500 GCCs already, with more than 2,500 plus established centers across multiple metros in India. Out of these 1,500 GCCs, 150 plus have set up operations in 2020 and 2021, during the pandemic, in fact, the last two years. So nearly about 10% have actually come up uh, in the last two years. And that goes to show you that while pandemic was raging, so was uh, the growth of GCCs in India. 65% of the GCCs that are set up in India are headquartered uh, in the Americas, specifically the US, followed by UK and European Union. The key levers of growth for the GCC market are, of course, availability of talent, I think which is what India has in abundance, in the digital and emerging space, the innovation ecosystem, infrastructure and livability, which is of course uh, something that every government in India is constantly working on, and most importantly, I think, able and stable governance, which does matter at the end of the day. The Telangana government, the local state government here, has established centers of excellence in coordination with various industry players, academic institutions, and research organizations for creating the necessary talent pool. Hyderabad is home to T-Hub, which is the world's largest in incubator and innovation engine. We have several innovation engines also, along with T-Hub, called as the V-Hub, which focuses on women entrepreneurship, T-Works, which will be unveiled in August, which will be India's largest prototyping facility maker's lab, TSIC, the Telangana State Innovation Cell, Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad, which again is uh, an institution that is set to bring about coordination between the academia and the industry and ensure that go-to-market research happens uh, in our country. We also have established a cyber security center of excellence in partnership with the Data Security Council of India, which is an outfit of NASCOM, and METI, which is also an outfit of uh, Government of India. We have a special wing in Telangana under our IT department called the Emerging Technologies Wing, which focuses on developing an ecosystem around the various technologies, including AI, ML, blockchain, cloud computing, data sciences, robotics, drone, additive manufacturing, by enabling adoption of these technologies across various departments, both public and private partnership, in a public and private partnership, so, as, so that we can create not only employment opportunities, but also ensure that the most talented resources are given the right kind of opportunity. Another very important enabler, which the government of Telangana has created, uh, you know, uh, a few years ago, is called as a TASK. Now, TASK stands for Telangana Academy for Skill and Knowledge, for training and creating the necessary manpower for various engineering and traditional degree colleges across the state. Some of the most prominent GCCs in Hyderabad, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Apple, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, HSBC, Franklin Templeton, Broadridge, ADP, JP Morgan, Novartis, Deloitte, you know, I, the list goes on, it's quite a long list. Some of the most prominent GCCs who've set up office during the last five to seven years in Telangana includes DBS Bank, Pepsi, Chubb Insurance, Mass Mutual, Goldman Sachs, Swiss Re, Advanced Auto Parts, RCCM, Gap, ZF, State Street, Intel, ICE, F5 Networks, 
Micron and Callaway Golf and the list goes on also. It's an impressive list. In fact, I have to share one thing with you quickly. If you look at the top five most valued tech companies of the world, all five of them without an exception have their largest campus outside of their headquarters. And that marquee list includes Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft and Amazon. All five of them have their largest campus in Hyderabad, in Telangana. And most importantly, Amazon's largest campus in the world is not in Seattle, it is actually in Hyderabad. Let me also add Uber, Salesforce, Micron, Qualcomm, all of their second largest centers in the world are also in Hyderabad. Hyderabad's IT growth story is something that's extremely impressive. Last year, in the middle of the pandemic, when the national average IT export growth was about 17%. Hyderabad had clocked a 26% growth. In fact, out of the 450,000 jobs added last year in the IT sector, 150,000, which is one third, were in Hyderabad. Top five, as I, was, as I was pointing out, apart from the top five, we have ZF, we also have Novartis, which has a large center in Hyderabad, which is again their second largest campus in the world. Let me quickly also tell you, for those of you who are interested in understanding why Hyderabad for a GCC, on the livability and infrastructure. There is an agency called as Mercer, which rates cities on a livability index across the world. They've rated Hyderabad as a city with the best quality of living among all Indian cities for five years in a row now, from 2015 until 2020, of course, in the middle of the pandemic, they had suspended their ratings, but I do believe that uh, had they done it, we would have still come out trumps. Our infrastructure certainly is better than most other cities in India. I do not wish to slam my competition in India, but I have to point out a few things. You know, I love Delhi, but I think the smog there is a shocker. Um, Chennai, I love Chennai as well, but the humidity there is a bit of a pain. Bangalore, can't say anything, but uh, you know, the traffic there, uh, it's hugely, hugely disappointing. We all know that. Uh, those of us who have traveled to Bangalore, once you get off the airport, you don't know when you're going to reach the office or when you're going to miss your flight. So that's a huge put off. And then, you know, there's Bombay, which of course is prohibitively expensive. And of course, what's happening in politics there, I don't want to talk about it. So the only city that leaves you with, the only city that leaves you with, with a stable government and an able leader and with uh, the best quality of uh, infrastructure is Hyderabad. And more importantly, And more importantly, the government here is focused on building more and more infrastructure. Because if you think about it, the fact is, while what Mahatma Gandhi may have said about 75 years ago is still true, that India lives in its villages, India is actually run by its cities and towns. Because they are the economic engines that drive the growth of this nation. All the statistics that uh, Gunjan was talking about, you know, the third largest economy by 2031 and all that, that GDP and GSDP is actually going to come from our cities and towns, majority of that. The fact is, in the last 75 years, governments really have not paid a lot of attention to urban infrastructure. It is crumbling because we are not able to keep pace with the kind of rapid urbanization and suburbanization that has been happening. But we in Hyderabad have actually focused on improving urban infrastructure. Unlike other cities, we do not have any problems with respect to power or drinking water. We are not one of those cities where you'll have to ferry water, drinking water in railway tankers. We have provision and we have planned for drinking water needs till 2051. We have satiated our drinking water requirement and we continue to improve on that. We have ensured also that there are no disruptions with respect to power supply and we provide 24 by 7 quality power. More importantly, public transportation is also important. We've completed 70 kilometers of Hyderabad Metro and we are looking to expand it even further to make our public transportation even more robust. To alleviate the congestion problems in the city, we've built more than 30 flyovers in the last five years as part of our strategic road development program. And we continue to add more and more to that. We are judged, like I said, um, as the most livable city. And more importantly, it's not just infrastructure that's important. More important is the talent. The think force of Hyderabad, the think force of my state is something that I'm truly proud of. About one third of the employees working in any IT company in India, including Bangalore, 
will have roots from my city, from Hyderabad. That's because of the ecosystem, the educational ecosystem we have here. We have more than 250 plus reputed engineering colleges. We have most certainly one of the best business schools in the country. I think the best business school in the country, Indian School, Indian school of Business. And most employees, in fact, I keep saying this and I can't say it enough. Hyderabad is that place where the north of India meets the south of India. Hyderabad is that place where biology meets technology. Hyderabad is that place where data sciences marries life sciences. Hyderabad is that place where mangoverse meets metaverse. So, all in all, we have the ability to attract the best talent from across the country, irrespective of which part of India you are from. Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi, Kanpur, Jabalpur, you will feel at home in Hyderabad because this is one city. This does not discriminate based on region, religion, language, etc. We are one of those cities which are truly a melting pot and we symbolize and we truly live up to that reputation. We also, in fact, as a government, have been playing a key role in ensuring that we provide the right kind of regulatory framework, right kind of policies for the industry. We released the ICT policy of government of Telangana in 2016 and the new policy that we released in 2021 will provide you the most important you know, uh, you know, framework, the most important kind of incentives for you to come and set up shop in Hyderabad in a very hassle-free kind of an environment. Now, why do I say hassle-free kind of environment? Because in Telangana, our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri KCR, believes in ensuring that any investor who comes to the state is given uh, a clearance uh, in terms of building approvals, in terms of all other clearances, as a matter of right. So what we have come out with is TSI Pass, the Telangana State Industrial Project Approval Self-Certification System. For instance, you wanted to start a factory or a GCC in Hyderabad, you actually don't need a clearance from the government. You can hit the ground running, you can start construction, you can start you know, your enterprise on day one. Simultaneously, we request that you submit an application online. Once we receive all the information, we promise us all clearances by statute in 15 days. If we do not deliver on the 15-day window, on the 16th day, it's a deemed approval again, backed by statute. No other Indian state will actually tell you this. Telangana not only has good policy framework and a good uh, uh, you know, a principle when it comes to ease of doing business, we also have a fantastic innovation ecosystem. In fact, the world's largest innovation uh, incubator, T-Hub, has been unveiled on 28th, a day before yesterday, right here in the city of Hyderabad. We not only have T-Hub, like I pointed out, we have a number of other incubators, we have a number of other innovation uh, uh, you know, curating agencies which, we w which work together in, in bringing out a holistic approach towards innovation. We have strong emerging tech wing, like I said, which covers many, many emerging technologies. And like I also mentioned, we work closely with NASCOM, AmCham, HICIA, Hyderabad Software Enterprises Association, and we have taken a sectoral approach in fostering a robust ecosystem. The two good examples that I can give, we have a consortium of about 30 BFSI companies uh, you know, which have together created a fintech forum for creating domain expertise, risk mitigation, and influencing policy making as well. And we are also coming out with a new uh, entity called as the Telangana Mobility Valley. We're working with all the large OEMs, suppliers, technology companies, and global operators across the globe to create the most comprehensive mobility ecosystem in India. We will reveal more details of this, of course, in days to come. Uh, in the next week, uh, in fact, uh, on the 6th of July. Hyderabad also has a very unique Cyberabad Security Council, an arrangement between the police department and the IT industry that ensures elements such as security, women's safety, traffic regulations, and cybersecurity are taken care of in the IT corridor. We are judged the safest metro statistically. There are a number of stories, there are a number of anecdotes that I can share with you you know, uh, that, that happened in the GCC world, which make Hyderabad a very attractive destination. You know, Uber started with an initial employee estimate of about 500 people in, uh, for 503 years. But they have crossed 2,000 in half the time, in one and a half years, and they are still continuing to expand. ZF, 
a German multinational company in mob mobility space, was inaugurated in 2017, about five years ago, with a target employee count of 1,000 in five years. Today, after five years, I was, I was there recently at their campus launching a new office and their headcount has already crossed 3,000 and it is still expanding. Similarly, DBS that set up a GCC in 2016 with a projected headcount of 1,000 in five years has already crossed 3,000 and they've opened even their retail presence here in Hyderabad. Micron, you know, large, uh, you know, memory manufacturer has set up their engineering and R&D center here in Hyderabad about five years ago. Uh, now it has become their second largest campus outside of United States. The one thing I would add, of course, uh, I can name more names, I can, I can tell you more such experiences, but I think the point I would like all of you to urge, all of you to consider, I would urge you to consider, is, you know, you have to see to believe it. If you go around all the cities in India and then come to Hyderabad, I think you will understand that whatever I've just mentioned is actually a, an accurate depiction. We not only work, you know, we not only look at you as potential investors, but we look at you as partners. In terms of, the reason why I say as, we look at you as partners is, if you need any policy advocacy that we have to take up, say with Government of India, in areas that are kind of vague, in areas where, where the, clarity, the clarity of policy uh, is still not there, we will be happy to work with you, to walk with you, to ensure that more and more uh, support that you require is given also from the government's side. For those of you who are already in Hyderabad, I request you to consider, you know, growing further. For those of you who are not here, we would love to be a part of the growth story. And I will be remiss if I do not add that our biryani is something that uh, people kill for and die for. And I, our, our social infra is equally good, comparable to the best in the country and possibly one of the best in the world as well. Our airport consistently gets rated among the top airports in the world. And I have to tell you, and I have to tell you this, and we focus on governance. We are a government that believes that economics should take center stage. Politics should only happen around election time, six months. Baki sade char sal, economics, economic opportunities pay, employment pay, dhyan dene wali sarkar, employment opportunities pay, Gaur karne wali sarkar, employment opportunities pay, focus karne wali government Hindustan ko chahiye aur Telangana IC government hai. So I welcome you all to Hyderabad and I look forward to working closely with many of you if you need a one-on-one -on -one conversation. My principal secretary is also here. So thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Telangana.